What is the new maximum light after the reeling in the stars update? Let's get started. Before all of that, don't forget to drop a like since it does help me out more than anything. Also subscribe, we just reached to 4.4k. Let's go into 4.5k. And also leave a comment in the comment section down below with the hashtag like. And of course, I'm going to heart every single comment that actually has the hashtag like. Now, this is going to be a video just to showcase what are going to be all of the items that grant the highest amount of light and where to get them. Not a showcase on how to increase your light the fastest. So, this is just going to be the same as the previous video that I've already done in the past. But this time around, of course, I will be doing an updated version of that video. I'm just saying all of this just so that people don't get confused whenever they are just seeing this video. This is not a guide, this is just a showcase on every single item in terms of its high life value. So, with all that out of the way, let's continue. Now, all of the items that actually grant light are going to be the following. Crystal gear, banners, allies, Cosmic Gems, Geo Mastery, Food, Two Dragon, Solarian Subclass, or the Solarian in general, Star Shirt, and the only temporal buff is going to be the Bizarre Paddler. And I will be going into all of that in that specific order. Starting off with Crystal Gear. Hat, Weapon, Face, and Ring can go as high as Crystal Level 4. Hat, Weapon, and Face are going to be going for Uber 10 difficulty in Delves, or you can also get it in Uber 11 in 5 star dungeons in both the Thunder Outlands or Geo Topside. And Crystal Level 4 Ring can be gone from the Golden Signatory boxes, or rarely from the other Signatory boxes, which is going to be the regular, Warrior, or Gilded. And of course, all these boxes are going to be tradable and can be crafted only in the Ring Crafting Bench at rank 300. And the light values are going to be as follows. 845 for the both maxed out Crystal Level 4 Hat and Face, so fully pearl, fully star. 1690 for the weapon and 325 for the ring and that is going to be the crystal gear banners there's going to be plenty of banners in the games but the highest light value is going to be still the upgraded permanent torch from the uber 10 leviathan of course there's going to be the weekly uber 10 torch that can be granted the same amount of light but of course it disappears after the weekly reset. You can also get the permanent torch by completing the diamond leviathan bash which requires you to defeat 250 leviathans and of course this can be any difficulty leviathan. And after you do get the regular permanent torch which is normally on legendary rarity, you actually have to go into the sunseeker forge in the geo top side spawn to actually craft the upgraded version. And the life value is going to be 900 for both the weekly or the upgraded permanent torch in uber 10 allies. There's going to be 12 allies that grant the highest light value which is going to be 400, which can be gotten from different places. King Koba, Orkian, Ernie, Walton and Starbird is going to be gotten from the Paragon's workbench. These up and also the Sunder Char can be gotten in the Sunder Uplands workbench. It can also be dropped whenever you do defeat either what the Sun of Stars or also the Sunder boss inside the Uber 11 or Uber 10 Sunder Uplands 5 star dungeons. I do not know if it draws from the boss itself or whenever you open the cache after you do defeat the boss. You have to experiment that yourself or if you do know, let me know in the comment section down below. Starry Skyfire, Scorpius, Star Rabble, Stardust and Ursa Minor are going to be going from the Star Shard and by the time that you're seeing this, there's going to be a video showcasing all of the mastery items inside the Star Shard and where to get every single item which includes all of these allies. I'll leave that of course in the description down below. And all of these allies like I just mentioned will grant 400 light each. Cosmic Gems Crystal Cosmic Gems are going to be the current highest rarity of gems and of course the lesser cosmic gems are going to be gone as a rare drop from uber 11 geo topside and of course the empowered gem can be crafted in the adventures workbench in the gem section or the other way to obtain that is to level up a stellar gem to level 25 and convert that using a crystal gem converter into a level 25 crystal gem this crystal gem converter can be crafted also in the gem section in the adventures workbench or you can also get it from the store for 1500 credits or 15,000 cubit. The highest amount of lights that you can obtain from a crystal cosmic gem is going to be 1,350 from lesser gems and 1,450 from a power gem. Of course, I'm talking about level 30 at 100% in all light rolls. Geo Mastery. 
Leveling Geon Mastery will grant 10 light per level. Of course, the maximum level on Geon Mastery is currently 100. So it's going to be 1000 light for the Bean Geon Mastery rank 100. And of course, you level a Geon Mastery from crafting Geo related stuff, like Geo Cave, some items in Geo Top Side, and also some items inside the Dells. Food. Several food in the game actually grant light, but the highest one that is going to grant light is going to be the three premium food crafted in the angler's grill. So yes, this is going to be related to fishing. The way to craft this food, you need to have active the expert seafood cookbook major note in the pond of power. And after you activate it, you would, should be able to craft it inside the premium food. You can also get it by just buying from Thomas the Tortoise, which is also an NPC that sells items weekly. I do believe, if I recall correctly, it's going to sell items on Wednesdays only and you can only get 4 foods per week using turtle shells, an item that you do get from Luke collecting the turtles. If you want more information, made a whole video in regards to everything related to fishing. Anyways, this premium foods light value is going to be 400. And of course, the only alternative to this one is going to be the free range electrolyte crystal, which is 300, but Hey, it is a really easy food, so this is going to be where normally most people is going to have, but the highest light value is going to be the premium food at 400. Dragons. There's actually two dragons in the game that grant light, which are going to be Char the Chaos Dragon and Sustian the Eternal Irradiance. Char the Chaos Dragon is going to be the Corruption Dragon. You can only buy 10 fragments per Corruption visit using Chaos Core which of course spawns on the weekends every two weeks and you need of course 50 fragments in order to get this dragon or 5 corruption visits and you should be able to unlock this dragon once you actually get all of the fragments and all of the rest of the materials. This dragon will grant 50 life once you do unlock it. The next dragon is Sustian the Eternal Irradiance which is a dragon gone from the upper layer in the Sunder Uplands. If you want more information knowing how to get the fragments of this dragon, I'll leave that in the description down below since I've already explained in a whole video on how to unlock the dragon because it is a pretty lengthy process but once you actually do unlock this dragon you are going to get 25 light solarian solarian gets light when you do reach level 30 also by reaching level 30 the subclass for the solarian will be granting the highest amount of light which of course is going to be 140 for both the solarian and its subclass star chart the newest addition into the game, the Starcher, has a lot of nodes that actually increases your stats. Out of the 120 nodes that are going to be available right now, there's only 3 of them that actually grants light. 2 of them grants 50 light, and 1 of them grants 150, which of course is going to be a total of 250 light. Each node requires you to get 6 celestial sphere to unlock them separately, but since all of the light nodes start from the same place, you only need 13 celestial sphere in total in order for you to unlock all 3 light nodes to be active at the same time. And lastly, the only temporal buff that is going to be granting light is going to be of course the Peser Battler. This ability of course only spawns in cosmic and power gems and what it does is once you do hit an enemy once you're going to go into stage 1 in Bizarre Battler which is called Frenzy Mode. In this mode you're going to get 250 light and if you do manage to hit an enemy 11 times in less than 3 seconds you're going to go into stage 2 also known as Berserk Mode and this will grant you an extra 500 light on top of the 250 for a total of 750 light and that's every single item in the game that drops light. In total you can have up to a maximum of 11,020 light at base or 11,770 if you are rocking a stage 2 Berserk Battler. If you want me to cover another stat just let me know in the comment section down below and thank you as always don't forget to drop a like subscribe for more content like this once again thank you for 4.4k let's see if we can reach 4.5k also let me know hashtag in the light in the comment section down below i'm going to heart every single comment that actually does have the hashtag light take care as always and keep on hunting see ya